Today, I am spilling all of the beans, all of the tea on how you can get free traffic to your business's website. Babes, I'm Chanel the Brand Hustler and this is a channel for all of my hustle babes who are interested in gaining insight on the entrepreneur journey while learning essential marketing and business tips for their brand. If that sounds like you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the Hustle Babe community. Today, I am spilling all of the beans, all of the tea on how you can get free traffic to your business's website. Yep, I said free girl, okay? And just in case you don't know the importance of website traffic, let me break it down for you. Website traffic tells you how many people came to your site to browse around with the intention to buy, that actually purchased, etc. Which means the more traffic that you can get, the more opportunities for sales that you can actually get. And when you are paying for a website, when you're paying for a domain, because there are some website plans where you will be paying literally $150 a month, when you're paying that much for a site, you wanna make sure that you got some type of foot traffic coming into your online store. Because having a website at times can be really expensive and you want to make sure that you can get the return on your investment and speaking about websites being really expensive this is why this video is sponsored by Zyro because Zyro is by far the most affordable and the easiest website platform on the market right now Zyro allows you to select from pre-built websites so that way you can have your website up and running in a matter of minutes. And just in case you wanna be a little extra and tweak some of the things on those pre-built websites, it is as easy as one, two, three because you can drag and drop different elements to your Zyro site. Not only that, but you can also sell on other platforms and marketplaces such as Facebook and Amazon, and they have tools that make shipping and delivery a breeze. And one of my favorite things about Zyro, honestly, has absolutely nothing to do with the website builder, but all about the fact that they care about entrepreneurs as a whole because they have business tools such as their AI heat map, which helps you identify where your website traffic is actually going on your site. You can see what products they're interested in or what pages they're interested in the most. And you know, you go ahead and tweak accordingly so that you can rack in more sales. So if you are looking for a website platform that is quick, easy, and affordable, I suggest that you check out Zyro. And you already know that I look out for my hustle babes. So if you go ahead and click the link in my description box right now, you will get access to a limited time exclusive discount where you can save up to 71% off of their plans plus three months free plus the ability to get a free custom domain. Click the link in my description box and don't forget that the code is hustle babe okay of course all right so thank you so much to Zyro for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into these tips. In the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I am going to be talking to you about how you can get free traffic to your website. The way that I do this is by doing one specific thing and that is utilizing SEO. Just in case you have absolutely no idea what SEO is or what it stands for, it means search engine optimization. Basically, when you go to Google, and you type in something like bell-bottom jeans, the order in which those website results populate is because of their SEO ranking. Now, there are some cases where people do pay for Google Ads and so they get to rank at the top or you see them on the side, but for all of the ones that don't have that little ad tab next to them, they're being ranked by 
the power of SEO. Pretty much what SEO is, it is you optimizing your website based off of certain keywords that you know your audience is going to search for. Bada bing, bada boom, right? It sounds simple, but so many people do not use the power of SEO, which is why you miss out on that free traffic each and every day. Utilizing SEO has so many advantages, especially when you execute them correctly. When you utilize SEO to its full advantage, the correct way, the benefits are honestly incredible. It can be difficult to understand how you can actually optimize your site. But lucky for you, I am going to be talking all about how you can do that today. I have broken it down into my top tips that I like help my clients with, top tips that I utilize on my sites. I'm going to be sharing them with you right here today in this video so grab your pen and your notebook but before I get into those tips I want you to comment and let me know did you know what SEO was before this video and have you used it before let's go let's have that conversation in the comment section so I actually compiled five tips let's roll into this list tip number one when it comes to utilizing SEO is you want to list your product titles with keywords. When you are creating your product, it is easy to get caught up in the cutesy names like unicorn body butter or fairy tale lotion. It is easy to get caught up in the creativity of it all. However, it is important when you're listing it on your website to include keywords in that title as well. Now, SEO tip number two is to create searchable descriptions. Similar to putting keywords in your product titles, you want to make sure that your descriptions <laughs> describe things. I can't count how many times, like I literally cannot count it. How many times I go to websites and I am trying to figure out what their product is about and all the description tells me is comes in all sizes. Well, thanks, I could have figured that out by the options. I could have dropped down the menu and picked my size and figured out what sizes it came in. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> you know, thanks, but no thanks. You need to be utilizing your description to describe your product. Tell me more about the color. Tell me more about the material. Tell me more about the stretch. Tell me more about where I can wear this product to even. That way, if I'm looking for an evening dress to wear to a wedding, you know, and you put it as the perfect wedding, the perfect wedding dress, right? To, or wedding guest dress, I should say. Then, you know, you're giving your product more of a chance of popping up in the search results. So be descriptive with your product descriptions. SEO tip number three is to use alternate text on your images. Now this one is one that, it's, it's a pain in the butt to do, but it is worth it. What alternate text stands for is, you know, if I had trouble seeing I can have a computer read off to me the description of your image. The way that the computer reads off to me a, des a description of your image is based on the alt text. Not only that, but you when you go to Google and you hover over an image, if something pops up, that is the alt text. You can actually upload your product images and then like for example on Shopify, it has an area that says alt text right there when you upload those images. So you want to take the time to actually describe the image so that you can have some alt text. Now, SEO tip number four is to name and describe your pages. On your website, you're going to have a product page, you're gonna have collection pages, you're gonna have contact us pages, you're gonna have home pages. Make sure that you're naming all of your pages correctly and making sure that you're being super specific about what is on that page. Not only that, but you always want to incorporate the type of store that it is that you have. Nancy Drew Boutique backslash Women's Online Boutique 
for evening wear or something like that. That way your page is named correctly for the contact us page, but then also you put your business's name in there and then you put the type of business that it is. And even the fact that you put trendy evening wear, now you're telling me the type of products that you specialize in. All of that is really, really good. And last but not least, SEO tip number five is to keep your target audience in mind, y'all. Now, there are many ways that you can optimize SEO. I shared with you the top four. However, with all of the ways that you can optimize your website for website traffic, you need to make sure that you're keeping your target audience in mind. When it comes to creating descriptions, when it comes to creating keywords, when it comes to creating titles, when it comes to describing those pictures in your alt text, you must know who it is that that particular product or collection of products is catering to, which is why it's important for you to keep your target audience in mind. Think about what are some of the things that they're searching for? What are some of the questions they're typing into Google? What are some of the keywords they're typing into Google? What are some of the problems that they're having? What are some of the problems they're searching for a solution to? Why do they want to use a product like yours? You know, what type of routines are they searching on Google and things like that. Really put yourself into the mind of your target audience and that will make it easier for you to create these keywords, easier for you to create these descriptions, um, this descriptive text, etc. Really become who it is you're trying to sell to. I say all that because ultimately your website is a part of your sales funnel. Now, if you don't know what a sales funnel is, I'm gonna put um, a link to a video where I broke down sales funnel for you, but ultimately your website is a part of your sales funnel and your customer journey. So you need to do your part in making sure it's attracting your audience and converting your audience. Because not only should your content on social media, email, text messages, et cetera, be doing the work to convert your audience, but once they get to your website, your website needs to make sure that it does the work as well. So with that being said, this is why it is important to understand the journey that your customers go through. This is why it's important for you to understand the stages of a, a marketing funnel. This is why it's important for you to understand who your target audience is, what type of content they need, depending on the stage that they're, they're at within their particular journey and the stage that they're in within your particular funnel. It is super important to know all of these things and that is why I put together a workshop to teach you this. In my target audience workshop, we are going to be breaking down target audience to the T. You are going to leave with a solid understanding of what a target audience is, how in the world do you even find yours, how do you research to solidify your audience and then we are diving deep into identifying what the stages are within the marketing funnel and what you can do as a business and as a brand at each stage to make sure that your potential customer is pleased and once they become a customer they become a dedicated cheerleader to your brand y'all this entire audience workshop is going to be so 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 good I promise you do not want to miss it, okay? If you are watching this video and you are sitting back like, I'm confused, I don't even know what my audience needs, wants, or how to give it to them, even aside from your website, maybe you're stuck with content, you're stuck with emails, whatever it may be, then you need to make sure that your booty is in them seats at that target audience workshop, okay? I am going to leave the link in my description box for the target audience workshop. I'm also gonna leave the description, the link in my description box for Zyro, which is, once again, the easiest, most affordable website platform on the market, period. Both of those links are going to be in my description box. Make sure that you go ahead and click both. Do not miss out, okay? If all of these tips were helpful, comment down below which tip it is that you know that you need to be using. So which SEO tip 
you realize that you need to be using the most? Comment that down below. And if you super love this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you go ahead and share this video with someone that you know it can help. And if you aren't already, follow me on Instagram at The Brand Hustler. You can also follow me on TikTok at The Brand Hustler as well. If you made it through this entire video and took all of these gems, sipped all of this tea that I spilled, then you need to hit the subscription button because what are you doing? You can't be watching my video all the way through and not be subscribed, boo, okay? So hit the subscription button so that you can be in tune with all the videos that I am going to be dropping, okay? And, who y'all, that was good. I hope you love this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye, Hustle Babes.